the S and P is up today a little bit, as you can see right here. Meanwhile, energy is getting crushed today. If you look at this is uh, energy compared to the S and P, it's been dying off ever since inflation was at 8.6 percent. Another sector that's falling off is materials. Materials is falling off sharply too. Now, and here's materials compared to the S&P. Now, the reason that energy and materials are falling off is because traders finally know that there's a recession coming. You need energy and materials to build within, a, within an economy. But if economy is not building, you don't need energy and materials, so they're being sold off. Coming recession, uh, I, I, in, I increased my exposure to shorts with the queues up to about 35% of my portfolio, and I'll continue to uh, increase my shorts exposure. Carvana is entertaining. This is truly entertaining. If you look at the financials here, if you look right now, Carvana is up a little bit, but I don't see it lasting. If you look at these days here where it's in the blue and it's going upward, it's mostly insider buying. As you can see here, last night after the markets closed, another SEC Form 4 came out with more insider buying. I still have shorts in Netflix. As you can see, it went up with the market today. It didn't do too much. I'm not too worried about that position. And I only have a gumball's worth of uh, exposure to Carvana, so that doesn't worry me either. I just find Carvana really entertaining. I have a feeling something's gonna happen one way or the other, especially when the insiders run out of money to buy their stock with. A couple days ago, I got washed out of Shopify when it went up here. Now, it looks like I re-entered the position here because we broke this new low here, and it's still flirting with this low here. If you look here, for the number of options that came due today, that's not a lot of volume here with just about an hour left to go in trading. And with that, I closed out of my Walgreens boots puts that were due today with a 200% plus profit there. I still have puts on Walgreens boots for August and October. This is Walgreens boots versus the S&P and I don't see any reason to pull out Walgreens boots as lagging anymore. It's not like back here when I, I bought puts on it back here. It seems to be doing just as fine as the S&P right now.